Rabbi Gabriel here with a meditation for Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is coming up in a few days and we blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah. When we blow the shofar we bring down into this world light and vitality that's going to last the whole year long. Not only will it last the whole year long but it will also vitalize us, all of the creations, all year long. And we do this through the blowing of the shofar. Now I'm going to explain to you, I want to first give you a parable. There's a king and the king he lives in a castle all year long. Nobody gets to see him. Hardly anybody gets to see him, who he is, what he's all about. But once a year he comes out into the field. And this is during this time that we are able to approach the king, come close to him if we want to. Now, the shofar, the sound of the shofar is a very simple sound. It's a sound that comes from deep within you. When you blow the shofar, it comes from deep within you. And who's listening to it, it influences deep within the person who's listening. And it carries a message with it. And we'll talk about this message now. You see, the king has a son. And he sent the son out to all of the lands to prepare him for the kingship. He wanted him to learn the law of the land. He wanted him to learn about people and understand them. He wanted, to learn, he wanted him to learn how to make a living on his own and see what that feels like. After a year, the prince comes back trying to get into the kingdom, but he's all tattered and he doesn't have any money. He didn't really succeed on his first try out. The guards at the gate didn't let him in and he sits down on the side, broken hearted, doesn't know what to do, doesn't know how to get to his father. The guards don't believe him and he just sits down and he cries and he cries and he cries. The king hears a voice, a simple voice, and he recognizes it. It sounds like the voice of his son. And he goes outside, and he walks around the palace, and he sees the boy sitting there on a rock, crying. And he says, my son! And the son looks up and says, father! And they come running to each other. This is the whole work of the month of El and the month, and the month of Tishrei, where the son, which is us, the Bnei Israel, the creations, have the ability to look up and originate, to initiate the effort to come close to the king. And the king hears this cry, this simple cry coming deep from within and it arouses within him a response and he comes out and he meets us and he gathers us in and he clothes us and feeds us and so on. This is the shofar. The shofar is the simple sound, the simple voice. And so we blow the shofar throughout the month of Elul, and we blow it on the main day, we blow it on Rosh Hashanah. On Rosh Hashanah, it really does its work. Throughout the month of Elul, it's, it's awakening us, preparing us. It's awakening God, preparing Him for what's going to come on Rosh Hashanah, where we come together to re-inaugurate the King, to make Him King, over us again. So now the sound of the shofar is divided into three. Solid, straight sound, broken sound, and solid straight sound again. The first one, these solid straight sounds symbolize shlemut, completeness, perfection. The broken sound symbolizes imperfection. And the complete sound at the end again perfection. Now a person's life is full of these moments. A person can have good days and can have bad days. A good person's life can be flowing and it can be uh, many difficulties and many challenges that rise up. But eventually it will always come back to smooth flowing calm which is symbolized by the long straight sound. Okay. Is what it's coming to tell us is, no matter what the hardships are, because there's always going to be hardships and everybody has them, you can overcome those hardships easily enough by just realizing that everybody has them. They're here for one purpose and one purpose only, to make you a better person. And when you face these and embrace these difficulties and these trials that come along, and you, you say to yourself, this 
It just requires one step at a time, and I will get through it. And then you will get through it. There is an end. And then there will be another one, because then you reach another level. Then you come to another place, another place of perfection, another place of repairing yourself and making yourself a better person. Because that's the purpose of us being here to move forward, to always take steps, to always become a better person. Now it also has to do with the breath, obviously, and the breath, when somebody is relaxed, he's breathing deeply. <sighs> Slow breaths, few breaths. When he's stressed out, stressed out from difficulties, trials, and so on, his breath is short. He's not really breathing deep. He's breathing shallow into his chest. And the breath is short and quick. And this is the sound of the broken part of the shofar. It symbolizes the short breaths, the stressful breaths. And then once again, there's the long breath. The relaxing breath, the calm breath, the peaceful breath. The breath that we're all striving for and the breath that we will all achieve once we're able to acknowledge the fact that this moment of difficulty we have to get through. And we're human and every human has these moments of difficulties. And all we have to do is take a breath, embrace the challenge that's coming, put our effort into it the best we can, the best we can, whatever that is, take one step forward at a time and we'll get to the long, relaxing, calm breath. The personal redemption, which leads to the general redemption. And we're not gonna talk about that today. So now let's get to the shofar. I'm gonna blow the shofar, and when I do, try to remember what I told you, to meditate on it, to concentrate on what I said, to let it internalize and come inside, feel it deep within you. Let it penetrate your muscles and bones and get deep down inside your heart. And remember it. Throughout the year, when you come across that difficulty, when you come across that trial, that tribulation, you remember the sound of the shofar, the simple voice, the simple sound, the sound from deep within you, crying to your Father, asking Him to please give you a break, to bring you back in, clothe you, and feed you. Thank you for joining me for this meditation, listening to the shofar. Remember it throughout the year. It'll make it easier to overcome those difficulties. Take a moment and look down at the description box. You'll see a link where you can sign up for a private consultation. And you can also sign up, subscribe to have these videos come to your inbox once a week. Thank you and have a Shana Tova, a happy new sweet year.